and welcome back to Camping Panda. Firstly, apologize that I've not been uploading uh, some updates of the videos because I have a project on hand that I just finished. So without further ado, today what I'm going to talk about is just the few or uh, the three types of butane gas stove that I use. Okay, there are going to be a lot of brands out there from Sozo to Snow Peak, MRS, BRS to China Made. Um, so what I have here is actually three sizes and just share with you on what situation will I use which stove, okay? A uh, quick one will be just take a look is the Olicam uh, Mini Titanium Stove A China, from China, butane stand medium stove and of course the Trangia type butane stove, okay? Uh, the types of butane gas that I use, the pots, uh, because this is the famous Trangia one, uh, Maple Fire Cook Set. I'm going to share with you each sizes and how I use it and when I use it, okay? And what determine the factor that I'm going to use it. Catch you back again. Okay, I'm back. Okay, the first one that I'll go through with you is the Oli Cam mini titanium uh, they have a similar version that is from BRS also which is cheaper uh, this 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 only came on is quite expensive uh, which I think is good but I have been using this for many years already okay for a small stove uh, that open this way that's for a small stove like this what about the main option that normally I will go with of course, uh, with a small canister. There will be a situation like if I go cycling, if I go hiking, or I do not intend to do a meal, but instead probably boil water for coffee or boil water for the ready to uh, meals ready to eat that I have. So I will go with this and I will use the Tox small titanium pot also. Because if it's going small, I want it to be as lightweight as possible because of uh, hiking or cycling. Huh? So I always have this inside and I will have my stand because the butane gas canister is uh, quite small itself. Sometimes on surfaces it's not quite stable, so I'll have this stand. This stand has various sizes, so it could also be used for this. Okay, this is my one of the first setup if I want to go quick, lightweight and no serious cooking. So as you can see, so it still work well with a small pot, a small the small uh, pot for boiling water it is still quite stable but then if let's say I was to choose to go for something that is bigger look at the size different it is still acceptable but with water fill I find that it has a tendency to tip a bit tip a bit huh? it is still workable but if let's say I go for cooking You'll find you, you, you start to find really you see that it, it's quite unstable because the surface area itself here is pretty small. Even for a smaller pan, it kind of like starts off to tip, especially if you put it over here, you will kind of tip. So for the small butane stove like that, uh, which is very good, which is also very lightweight, uh, good for, again for cycling, hiking, or a quick camp out, day camp out, or things where you do not intend to have cooking, too much cooking, like you're going to have a steak, you're going to have a chicken chop, uh, you're going to make steaks, um, <clears throat> or cook veggies, stir fried veggie, you know, like those Korean or Japanese one. It is small, light and portable. It's 
smaller than the palm size. Of course, you can also go with a bigger canister, but I don't pair with it. And for a bigger canister and something, if let's say I intend to do more cooking, again, I show you one. Uh, you also fit this canister. And if I intend to do a, a little bit more cooking, what kind of setup would I go for? I will go for this because the 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 is lower, so it's more stable. It's lower, it's more stable. It, the higher it is, of course, it will flip and floppy. So you just open up this way. The surface area is a lot bigger, and I feel a lot safer. I feel a lot safer with bigger pans, bigger pots. And this is when, where I intend to, if let's say I have a more intensive cooking, I like to make, uh, bring some maybe ham, spam bread, uh, noodles, how to cook uh, chicken wing, uh, beef, uh, steak, chicken chop, I will use this and that's and because of uh, more intensive cooking I need a bigger fuel canister so it can last me intensive you'll heat up because although again this is a setup that I will use when I intend to do more cooking with family or I go camping myself with more emphasis on cooking of the food and the next one will be the trangia type this will definitely be paired with the trangia cook set of course I have the alcohol stove inside Loop it in, exit the hole, and you have this. Screw in the butane gas. Throw a stove. the trangia type okay so this is how you use it this will be definitely I will bring this on a family camping because why it has uh, more options in terms of kettles for boiling water, for tea, bowls, bowl for cooking, two bowls for eating, cooking. Then of course, the frying pan. Making of tea.
This will be family or also if I'm camping alone, uh, something that I want to cook more intensive, maybe making a soupy based kind of food. I'm going for a very relaxed camp, boiling water, making coffee, making hot tea. Uh, I have uh, with the frying pan, of course, maybe chicken wings again, all those things. Remove it. Just unscrew back the gas. And again, your tangier is ready for what do you call it? Mm, alcohol stove. Alcohol stove use. I, I replace this with the locust uh, holder because the original Changia one is made of aluminium and it, it really takes up shape very fast. And they should not tip here. When you buy the Changia, remember this piece of plastic, never throw it away. It helps to protect your coating from getting scratches. That's when you keep it when you are in the keep. When your trench is in a storage mode. Okay, uh, just to quick recap, the kind of stove for lightweight, always go for those simple small titanium stove, uh, good for boiling water. If you are with a family or you intend to cook a lot in your camping trip, go with something like this. There are other models from Soto also, which actually is a very low base. They use other gas also. Other gas canister that is the long one. Because it's more stable. And the surface area is actually larger for your pots and pans. And if you have a trangia and you're afraid that you will run out of uh, alcohol or you don't wish to carry alcohol bottle, but you already have a butane gas, uh, get the changia type stove for your changia and I believe this one will also work with the firebox stove firebox uh, wood stove uh, with the additional sticks that it can hold I think this will work with the firebox stove also I think overall all in all that is what the three types of heating uh, gas stove system that I have that I can share with you and the reason why I use certain stove at certain time Hope you enjoyed the video and it's helpful to you. Okay, bye bye. Okay, before I end this video, I believe I know there were people who will be asking me who are watching this video from in Singapore. Okay, where do I get all this butane stove from? I got this uh, many years ago, this tree from a shop called Nelco, Nanko. It's at Beach Road uh, Army Market, second floor. I believe now that uh, black tactical also sell but I do not know whether they still have any more stocks you may need to call them to try and ask if they have stock and since since I started camping about I can't remember how many years ago I've been using these three sizes these two sizes uh, this three this three canister these two sizes and once the butane gas finish ready I will do a refill Okay, uh, I'll put a link of the video after this video. Uh, you all can check it out how I refill this butane gas. And using those um, gas for use for steamboat, steamboat, uh, steamboat stove, the long one that's very cheap, about $9 or $7 sometimes uh, for a packet of three. Okay, so check out, uh, I'll put the shop name in the description uh, you can give them a call check it out uh, check out black tactical also leave the uh, details or the contact details of black tactical and then call below i believe you cannot order this 
online to be imported as, as a personal I remember I checked they say that they, they have to release all the gas because I believe they were afraid that uh, with height they may have some explosion but if let's say it's commercial one there are some safety steps that are being uh, taken to ensure that they can be imported in it's not cheap I can tell you in Singapore it's not cheap I can't remember how much but I remember probably each canister is about $10 plus for one only huh? bye bye